Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Jordi, if you don't know me, and today we did another full face of NYX. They have lots of new stuff. I wanted to try some new things that I hadn't tried yet, and we ended up with this kind of clown chic look that I love. This look was inspired by the sweater that I was wearing this morning. Tried to incorporate all these colors, even this black outline. That was fun. It wasn't fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this look. Let me know if you want more crazy colorful looks. I had a blast doing this. All the products I used will be listed down below. Links to wigs and whatnot will be down there also. If you want to see how I made this look and see what products from NYX were a hit and which ones were not, then keep watching. To prime, I'm going to use the NYX Total Control Drop Primer. This is one of the products I have not tried yet. I swatched it on my hand when I first got it and it felt incredibly soft and smooth and lovely. And then I kind of just forgot that I had it and forgot to try it. It's really light and smooth, kind of greasy. It made my pores vanish. I like that. This feels really nice. For foundation, I'm going to mix two. The Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation is incredibly matte and dry. I am also very dry right now. So I'm going to mix the total control drops into this to try and make it a little bit more luminous. I'm just mixing them on the back of my hand with my foundation brush and we'll see how that goes. I love mixing foundations. Some of my favorite foundations are created by mixing multiple. Sometimes the finish is really great, but maybe it's not enough coverage. It's still a little bit dry on my forehead, but I'm so dry on my forehead. I think anything would look dry on my forehead. As soon as the weather starts changing, my skin freaks out. Other than my forehead, I really, really like the way this looks. It's full coverage, but not cakey. To conceal, I've got the HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in Porcelain. I've tried this concealer before. It's pretty darn good. I wish it was a little bit lighter, but I do have a product that we're going to try and highlight with. So we should be all right. The finish of this concealer is gorgeous. This is a product I have not tried yet. This is the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo. The colors are taupe and ivory, and it's a cream product. So we're going to highlight and contour with this. It's a little bit lighter than the concealer, but it is oxidizing to be darker than I would like it to be. Let's see what this is like. This shade is like almost purple. I guess taupe though is kind of a purple. I'm gonna try and blend it out with a sponge. Like the highlights are almost gone. completely oxidized and disappeared. The contour shade is nice though. It's subtle. It's easy to blend, but it does kind of just blend away. I don't mind it under the eye though. It did give us a little bit extra coverage. My forehead is so dry. This is not going to blend. Let's see how it looks on the nose. It's not the worst. I do like my contour and highlight to be a little bit more defined, so I'm gonna go in with the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette that I have used before, and it is excellent. I'm gonna go in to the lightest shade. This one is shimmery, so I'm not gonna use that one. NYX doesn't have a translucent powder that I like yet. I'm going to try and use this to set my face. It actually looks really pretty and really smooth. Now I'll go in with a brush, and I'm gonna use a combination of this shade and this shade. Just go in and deepen all the contour. 
and get it a little bit more blended and bronzed. Go in and contour my nose again also. Can't really see it. This is an excellent palette. 10 out of 10 would recommend this palette if you're looking for a powder contour palette. We're doing all right. Next, I'm going to pencil in my brows using the NYX Precision Brow Pencil. This is what I use in most videos almost every day. This is my favorite brow pencil ever. This is in the shade Ash Brown and it's almost the exact same color as my eyebrow hairs. I think it matches my regrowth pretty much exactly. I love the shape of the tip. I love the formula. Such a good eyebrow pencil. I really love that it has a brush on the end. It's so convenient. I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of concealer just to clean this up because I got a little bit messy. And we have a lovely natural eyebrow. For the eyes, I'm gonna do something really colorful. I'm gonna use the NYX Swear By It palette and the Ultimate Brights palette. Both I've used before, both are amazing. Starting with a small brush and this aqua shade, I'm gonna go in above the crease and map out kind of a cat eye shaped shadow. And then I'll blend out those edges a little bit, but not too much. I'm gonna keep the shape pretty sharp. I'm gonna use a fan brush to dust away all the fallout as we go. And then I'm gonna switch to the Swear By It palette and I'm gonna grab this dark green. And I'm going to add this under that aqua. And just gently blending those into each other. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit more of the aqua shade and go right on top to get it even more blended. And then I'll go in again. There's nothing on this brush. Well, there is, but nothing that's going to come off the brush. So I'm just using it to blend those edges again. Perfect. On the lid, I wanna use really bright pinks and yellows, so I'm gonna go in with some concealer and a little baby brush. And of course, we're gonna cut the crease. This is my favorite thing to do, just keeping it the same shape as the shadow. And we'll get this as neat as we possibly can. It's pretty good, I think. Unfortunately, I have to do the other eye. Wish me luck. Now that the crease is cut, I'm gonna go into this really bright yellow shade in the Brights palette. I'm just gonna tap out the creased concealer and I'm going to carefully press this at the top of the cut crease. And then I'm gonna grab this orangey shade in the Swear By It palette. And I'm gonna put that below the yellow and blend it into the yellow. This color reminds me of macaroni and cheese. Grabbing a little bit more. Cool. And then back into the Brights palette, I'm gonna grab this bright pink. And I'm gonna put that on the lid. That one had a lot of fallout. Now I'm gonna go in with a really, really small brush and pop back into this really dark green and just really, really carefully clean up the edges. You can skip this part. It's totally unnecessary. and then give it a blend. It just adds a little bit more contrast between the two. I might regret this, but I just really want to match my inspo 
So I'm gonna go in with the NYX Epic Ink Liner and I'm going to outline the cut crease. We'll see how this goes. There's really nothing I can do if I screw it up. It's far from perfect, but it's not terrible. It looks pretty cool. I'm going to line my lid and connect it. Now I have to do the other one. I did okay. I didn't mess it up too badly. For the lower lash line, I'm going to do pink with white lashes to match this little heart. So I'm gonna go back into the bright pink from the Brights palette. This pink eyeshadow is pretty incredible. Blend it out a little bit. And then using the NYX White Liquid Liner, I'm gonna go in and paint my bottom lashes. I'm gonna wait for that to dry before I put on mascara. In the meantime, we can add some highlighter. I'm gonna use the NYX Born to Glow palette. I love this palette, it's amazing. Using my big fan brush, I'm just gonna grab both the top colors. Look at that. It's so pretty. And then using just the lightest shade for my nose and under the brow. I'm gonna skip the inner corner highlight because I don't think it works with this look. Now I'm gonna use the NYX Worth the Hype mascara on my upper lashes before we put on some lashes. I love this mascara, it's incredible. It's one of the only mascaras that I can use on my bottom lashes and it doesn't make a huge, big mess throughout the day. I put on some lashes, they are not from NYX because the only pair that I had from NYX did not work with this look. I've got the exaggerated false lashes but they're so thick that it completely covered the eyeshadow. So I had to cheat. I need some blush. I want it to be pretty extra to tie this together. I'm gonna go in with the NYX ombre blush in Strictly Chic, which is not gonna be enough on its own. We're gonna have to add to it. I'm just gonna dip right into this hot pink. That's more like it. I'm gonna use pink on the lip as well. This is Teenage Dream Powder Puff Lippy. It's got a little sponge on the end. And it literally feels like a powder. These are so cool and comfortable. I'm just gonna use my finger to blur out the edge. I'm actually gonna go into that ombre blush. Add a little bit peachiness and really smoke out the lip line. Next I'm going to add some freckles with my eyebrow pencil, same one that I used on my eyebrows. Just lightly on my nose, a couple on my face. And then I'm going to set my face with the NYX Matte Finish Spray and I'm gonna put on my hair. Also added a little accessory to spice it up a bit, and this is the look all together. Shit, that's dope! Wait a minute, hang on. Where are you going? <laughs> he had to How get his glasses. Looking? That's really cool. Thanks. It's like, can I touch it? Can you touch it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Like, Whoa! <laughs> close your eye. <laughs> wow. 
That's so cool. Thanks, babe. You're so supportive. I love you. And that's it. I'm not supporting saying it how it is. Tip top. Thank you so much. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you would ever wear this in public. I'm about to. Probably just go to the grocery store. I'll see you guys in the next video.